Welcome friends. In this video, I am going to show you how to connect Microsoft Graph API to fetch all Office 365 groups information in your Power Apps application using the custom connector. Let's move. To create a Power Apps application to connect with Microsoft Graph API, we need four items to be created. One is Power Apps application and another one is creating a custom connector. Third one, the graph endpoint and the main one is we have to create a client ID and secret from app registration. First, we do the app registration. So for that, I'm navigating to Azure portal. From here, select app registrations. Once we are in the app registrations page, click new registration. Give it a name like MS Graph Demo App. Select the third option under the supported account types. In the redact URL section, just select the web and then add localhost and then click register. Once the app is registered, we have to configure the client secret and then API permission to this app. Now the app is successfully registered. We have to copy the client ID for future references and then click on certificates and secrets here. Create a new client secret from here. Click new client secret. Give name secret value. Click add. Now the client secret is ready. Copy this and then select the API permissions to provide the scope permissions. Click add a permission. We are going to retrieve the all groups information so that we have to give that particular permission from here. Click Microsoft Graph. Delegated permissions, search for group, yeah, select group dot three dot all and add permissions. This permission scope required a admin concern, so we are granting that by click on grant admin concern and yes. Now we have granted an admin concern to group dot three dot all. Now we move back to Power Apps. We are on the home page now. From here we have to create a custom connector. Under the data, click on custom connectors. In the custom connectors page, click new custom connector, create from blank. Give some name, MS Graph Demo App Connector. Click continue. So leave the icon and description, leave as it is. In the scheme section, ensure the HTTP is selected. Under the host, give graph dot Microsoft.com. This is the endpoint to connect with Microsoft Graph. Once this is added, click security. In the security tab under the authentication type, select OR 2.0. Under the OR 2.0, select Azure Active Directory in the identity provider. The client ID we have to paste, which you have copied earlier. Copy and paste the client ID. Once this is done, log in URL as leave as it is. Tenant ID leave common. Resource URL. Just enter https graph.microsoft.com and the scope we have to add user.read comma group.read.all once this is ready click create connector once it is created we can get the read act all from here because this will be automatically generated we no need to give here for now just copy this and we move back to app registration portal on authentication under the web section add a URL here. Just save it. Now we have added the custom connector reader URL also in the app registration. Now we are ready to fetch the information from MS Graph. Just move back to Power Apps, custom connector. Click the definition tab, add a new actions to fetch the information from MS Graph. Here we are going to create a two actions. One is get current user, another one is get all group. New action, get current user, get current user and information. Operation ID, this will be a unique one. So I am giving without space, visibility none, the request and response. You can see two options here. We are going to use the Microsoft Graph Explorer to fetch the information for request and response section. So I move back to Graph Explorer. Here slash me, which returns the current user information. Run query. 
just copy the URL from here and then under the request section, click import from sample, select the get verb and give it a graph URL here and then import. Once this is imported, we have to add a response JSON format. For that, copy the response from the graph explorer. Under the response section, click add default response. The body just paste that response. Click import. This will import the metadata which is returned from the request and then click add new action because we are going to add one more action get all groups get all group information from tenant get all groups click visibility and then moving back to graph explorer here to retrieve all group information slash groups just copy this url Click import from sample from request, select the get verb and paste the URL. Import. Once this is ready, we are going to add a response to generate the metadata. Copy the JSON format from Graph Explorer, paste it here. Just import. Once you click on the default, you can see the metadata which is generated from the response JSON. Once this is ready, we can test it. Before that, I am saving this connector by click on update connector once this is done we are ready to test it so click on test create a new connection based on this connector create okay the connector is created now ms craft demo app connector so moving back to custom connectors edit our custom connectors test among to test so the connection is created so i'm testing this by click on test operation so that get current user is successfully run so we are ready to use this operation and also we'll test all groups this also successfully run we are ready to use these operations in our power apps application so go to home click on canvas app from blank to create a power apps application select the tablet format giving the app name as ms graph demo app create now the canvas app is created first we have to add a connector by click on data sources Search for our connector, MS Graph Demo App Connector, select it. Once this is added, we are ready to fetch the information and show it in a Power Apps application. For that, I am going to add three components, text to display the current user information, button to call these two operations, data table to show list of all group information. Change the button name to get. In the on select event of that button, we are going to create a two variables and assign the current user and all group information to those variables. For that, I'm calling update context method from Power App and then current user, creating a current user variable, and then calling our connector ms graph connector ms graph demo app connector dot get current user, and then just creating all groups variable and then assigning ms ms graph demo app connector dot get all group okay this is ready and then we are assigning the these variables to these two components select the text change the text to current user dot display name select the data table ensure the items is selected and then add all groups dot value which returns the array of all the group information. Now we have to add some more columns to this data table for that. Just click edit fields from the right side panel. Click add field. Select display name, create a date time and add. We are ready to run this application. Just click the run button and click get button. So the current user information came and all the group information came. It's very easy to configure the custom connector with Power Apps application. That's it for now. Stay tuned. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also provide your views in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching.